know, buying a home for the first time can be very exciting, but there are so many things that most of us may not consider. And joining us now is Miss Jessica Brady. She's going to give us some tips. She's a local realtor, going to give us tips on what we should be thinking about in reference to first time home buying. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. So first thing, what are the first steps that people should consider when they're looking to buy their first home? Yes, yeah, so before even going to look for a home, you want to hire a local licensed realtor. We are going to act as an expert guide throughout the home buying process. Um, we are going to stand in your corner during negotiations. We want to be able to negotiate a purchase agreement that really fits your needs. Mm -hmm. What about the financial aspect? Where should we begin there? Yes, so you should, um, contact a local mortgage lender and they will discuss your credit score with you and they can get the pre-approval process started um, and they will be reviewing your assets, your income, and your credit score to do that. Yeah, is there anything that we should be thinking about in reference like saving ahead of time for once we get to talking to those mortgage lenders? Absolutely. You should start a budget as soon as possible if you are thinking about um, going through the home buying process. Mm -hmm. um, once you do get your pre-approval, um, this will give you a competitive edge in the buying process. So if you are um, competing against multiple offers, um, your pre-approval will help you find out what you can afford to spend during the um, home buying process. And you can figure out um, a monthly mortgage payment that you are comfortable with. Sure, and now when they're going to look for these homes, you know, obviously there's so many things to think about. What should they be looking for when they're visiting these homes? So when we go to look at a home, you know, there are a few things that we can see, but this is one of my tips is to try to avoid skipping out on a home inspection, on a home that you want. Um, this can reveal any hidden safety risks it can um, tell us if we need to negotiate any further repairs. And a home inspection can give a buyer peace of mind um, with making such a large purchase. Um, so, yeah. How common is it for people to skip those home inspections? Um, I mean, we don't we don't want people to sure. typically but you know, ultimately it is the buyer's choice mm. it always it's the buyer's choice whatever they feel comfortable doing yeah absolutely you don't want buyers remorse when you're exactly going to buy your first exactly home. so you know the buying process you know it can be fairly easy and enjoyable if if you are working with a real estate professional. Yeah, and quickly tell us what questions first time home buyers should be asking when they're on their search. Um, well, they can we suggest that they come in and meet with us mm -hmm. to ask us those questions because we are going to be giving them a, a load of information sure. when they're starting the home buying process. We're going, we are going to be asking them to make their wants list, their needs list, mm -hmm. and we want to create a customized search for them. Um, but we really need to find out what their pre-approval is first. That way we know what price range um, and loan type we are shopping in. Uh all right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Well, tell people how they can find you if they want to enlist in your services. Yes, they can um, find me at Remax of Midland. My phone number is 989-277-7292. And um, you can find me on Facebook, Jessica Brady, Remax of Midland. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us thank on you the show. So much that for was great me. advice to give to thank people you. who are looking to buy homes. All right. Well, thank you so much.